Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the League of Creative Interventionist uh, Community Conversations. I'm just taking a few more minutes to connect uh, with our guests today. Uh, so just give me a few more minutes to set up. We will uh, hopefully be able to get started here soon. I'm kind of bouncing back between uh, the Zoom platform and the Facebook platform, testing out this new way to connect and communicate. So um, thank you all for bearing with me and hanging in there. I'm hoping that uh, we'll be able to get started really soon. Hey, okay, Quinn, can you see me? We can hear you, but we can't see you. So if you could, um, in the lower left corner, you should be able to start your video or take the uh, red slash out of your video. We can hear you, though. All right, let me see. Uh, it'll be in the lower left corner next to it'll be a microphone and then a video. See, I got the microphone, but I don't have an area for the video. Okay. I just the chat, raise hands, Q&A. Okay, let's see here. Um, are you able, are you on your phone? Nope, I'm on the computer. Computer. It should be a little bar at the bottom that, that pops up. So check my uh, microphone, yes, yes. speakers audio settings but i don't have you don't have the video capability let me see video i can see myself and i can see you okay so let's see here um, all right, you can okay let me see here see more okay well i see my name <laughs> your name okay so now we're there trying we to see now okay <laughs> we're here <laughs> all right so it this took is us great got it. yes okay so i have the video recording um to a cloud and then it's giving me, I see the red button that says we're live on Facebook. So I know this is us testing this out, but um, <laughs> I know that we're recording and I know that we're live. So I think we're good to go. <laughs> good to go. Okay, good. I'm excited about this Chinese new community conversations. Yeah, this the show taught me something different. chat box uh we are i am unable to uh see it at the moment but i'm going to um try to switch back and forth between the zoom and the facebook okay we can be able to see the uh responses in real time but i first want to just introduce the league of creative interventionists uh we're a nonprofit organization that provides resources to artists and emerging leaders in their communities um, our projects harness uh, creativity of local residents and folks that are boots on the ground. Um, and the goal is to create stronger, healthier, more vibrant communities. So traditionally, we've had the community conversations where in-person, in-community uh, discussions. 
And uh, we are now taking that all online due to this COVID situation. We have uh, our guest today, which is more like a peer and a colleague of mine, Sequoria. <laughs> Sequoria Finney is the project lead in Akron, Ohio. So we have, I, I'm, I'm a project lead here in Charlotte. We have a chapter uh, in Charleston, South Carolina, and then Sequoria in Akron. And so last week we had a conversation with Leandra, one of the Charlotte fellows, um, along the lines of action and how to keep this community uh, engagement um, rolling and creative and fun. And so we thought that it'd be great to connect with our friend in Akron to see what's going on. <laughs> so welcome, Sequoria. Hey, hey how girl. you doing down here? <laughs> we, we, we're good. You know, uh, I know you're a mom like me. So, you know, it's the whole school thing, trying to balance this out of school thing. To be honest, it, that's just been consuming my life. <laughs> yeah that's what we doing school work up until about 2 30 like they will, will be at school for real then I yes. got my work that I'm usually doing and then I'm working on those growing mine bags so it's a balance cool cool okay so why don't we start um by you just sharing a little bit about you okay All right, you there, Sequoria? Yeah, it looked like it had froze for a second. Okay, okay. what did you okay. say? I was just gonna uh, get you to start by just sharing a little bit about you, who you are, what you're interested in. All right, so like you said, my name is Sequoria Finney from Akron, Ohio. Um, I became a league fellow two years ago. Oh, so two years, two years ago, and then once my year was up, I became the project lead for Akron. Um, my pro program I did was called Growing Minds, and it's basically an arts and craft program for youth ages five to twelve, and then the older children can gain volunteer hours that they can use for school, for high school. Um, during this time right now, and I've been working on bags. They're called Growing Minds. They're like giveaway bags where inside you have your personal hygiene products. You have arts and crafts for the kids. You have books for them to keep up on reading. I have some activities in there that they can go out and you can do some work um, outside in the yard. You can collect rocks and paint those rocks and, you know, just do things to keep your mind going while we're on this little break right here. I so, love um, that. Other than, that other so than the uh, bags, other than the bags, um, I also have this the Growing Minds Memorial Garden down at the um, bottom of Princeton and Kenyon, um, southwest side of Akron. If anybody is familiar with that neighborhood, uh, Summit Lake area, down there it's like a garden where you could come and you can actually just sit and reflect on your lost loved ones. So we're busy here. That's good and, and good work, good projects. Um, I'm glad that you shared that too, because one of the things I, I was um, going to ask about is just some ways uh, that you're staying connected with your neighbors. Um, what does communication look like considering this um, shelter in place situation? How are people staying connected? Same as down there, we're Zooming. Everything is some kind of Zoom uh, meeting. Um, with the Metro Parks, we were trying to think of ways that we can do. We have like this thing called Balloflex down at the Reach Center where we would usually come together on Thursdays and we'd have chair exercises. Well, we're trying to see if we can bring this to the Zoom community also and get people engaged that way. I've been down and the person has been stopping just taking pictures, seeing the progress of the trees and the flowers that's blooming. So even though we have to stay six feet away, everybody grab a corner of the garden and we still been making progress. That's good. That's really cool. Like keeping it going, keeping the work going. And I guess just like using that uh, camp at, at this 
point as, as a therapeutic activity even. Yep. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Has it been hard to, um, cause I know you're just entrenched in your community and you're a person that's just out there. Has it been, uh, personally difficult for you not being able to kind of like convene folk together as you would in larger groups or just kind of do some of the community things that are not always project-based, but just gathering cookouts, getting together. I'd say yes, because we'd have missed Easter. We didn't have to postpone it. And usually we have our little Easter thing down at Summer Lake. Uh, uh, me and my grandma, uh, she's like the main person who I do all my community work with. Like, if you see me, you see her. So, and it's vice versa. And that's been since I was, I want to say 10, 11 years old. That's how long we've been doing like the Easter egg hunts and the different give backs in this neighborhood. So when we couldn't do it for Easter, we couldn't do anything St. Patrick's, we just couldn't, it was kind of hard. So that's where this whole, the bags idea came. So I said, even if I have to come up on the porch, put the bag on your door and come away from the house, at least I know I made contact with that neighbor. Yeah, and that's so important too, thinking about how do we still just keep up with each other? Do y'all mm -hmm. have like a communication like newsletter or like a remind app? What what do you guys use to just kind of like um, check in on one another? Or is it just old school phone? You got it. Uh, basically old school is phone, call, text. Uh, we also have had, we have an app called the Band app. And so a lot of communication goes through that app also for people who's used to it. And then getting people familiar with Facebook. I know for the longest, my grandma used to tell me about not getting on Facebook. Now she on there more than me. So that's just our new go-to these days. Yeah. What about, um, I know that there in the, especially in the Lake area, there's a lot of families and youth. Um, has there been a plan or some ideas about just keeping them engaged? I, you know, with I, us having kids, them being out of school, even the kids in my neighborhood, they'll see each other. Like I, the kids can go in the front yard, backyard. And so there are neighbors across from us, across the street next to us that have kids. So like my kids see their kids and they see each other, they wave, but they can't like, uh, really play together and so mm -hmm. um i just wonder what other like uh what other communities are doing or experiencing you know because it hit different when you see the kids and you're like ah oh. <laughs> i know we kind of we kind of broke rule a little bit so i had my nieces and nephews over last night and we just sat around and we played Uno, I think about two hours straight now. I was all Unoed out by the end of the day. But I noticed like when I take them home, you can still see the kids on the different sides of the street and you just see that they want to engage so bad. But it's like, no, you have to stay at home. Like you got to stay on your side. But you know, if they take it back to the old school like us, we can still play together. Put y'all's gloves on. Let's play curveball. <laughs> Yeah, it's like we can't quite recommend it, but true that that's what mm -hmm. we, we would figure it out. Back, back in the old days, we figured it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know well, when I the street lights came on, you had to come in. You get on, y'all yeah, get yeah. on your side of the street, and we still make do. Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, let's see what else can we discuss. Well, what 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 keeps you going? What keeps you creative? Um, I've noticed here, like, uh, a lot of my peers that were, and colleagues that are, were accustomed to doing a lot of in-person engagement, you know, spending time at parks, spending time at community meetings, um, are really struggling with how to engage now, because so much of what we know of community engagement, uh, really meant being in person to person, um, and in this, and sharing space, uh, and I so I wonder uh, some of your thoughts about how you're staying creative and um, maybe how you're just reimagining things. 
Um, I would say I've hit the trail a couple of times. So since we're still allowed to go outside and we can walk the trails and stuff, we keep our distance. We can still just hey say, hey, keep passing on. You go your way, I go my way. We don't have to get close to each other. Um, that's one thing. And then I think my kids, like as long as they still going and they got that energy, I'm still moving too. So I just can't let it get me down. Even if it's get a coloring sheet, <laughs> let's get the color. <laughs> let's do a word search competition. And you know, it's kind of hard when you don't have like people who don't have those children and stuff like that. But hey, even if you drop a note, just walk across the street. I know our neighbor across the street, she don't have kids, but she came over on Easter and she just wrote us happy Easter on our um, sidewalk. She went around the whole neighborhood, just different places she knew kids was at. She wrote happy Easter, dropped a couple Easter eggs in the yard and you never knew she was there. Oh, so it's just like there's ways we can do it. Yeah. And I think that things like, you know, those type of things that may not seem like really large scale projects, though, those are meaningful mm -hmm. activities or just small, meaningful things things that you really take part. And so I, I know that those are some of the uh, similar to ideas that we're trying to do here in Charlotte uh, with the Lakeview community. We're working closely to um, having like um, sidewalk, little sidewalk talk, we called it, just sending messages. And so when people are out on their morning walk or afternoon walk, it's a way to communicate. Mm -hmm. um, and even uh, thinking about how we could use yard signs to create art and out in the yard and it's another way to engage. And so I love what you shared about your neighbor because I think is I think part of this is really causing or us or challenging us to like build our empathy muscle, stretch that thing for one, uh, for the people who have a challenge with getting out and um, are not in a position to be able to spend time outside or even taking a walk and also for us to just really think about what it takes to connect and remembering right. some of the basic ways that we started out you know uh, before uh, technology and some of the special nuances and having uh, sometimes funding and certain materials but like what are some of the ways we can take it back to the basics and really intentionally connect with the people um, that we live with yeah see I created um I had one in the kitchen and I told him we was gonna make I spy bags so real simple go outside pick up some rocks pick up some whatever you just find around the yard sticks whatever it might be take the grass sprinkle it in your little ziploc bag pass it off to you whoever you have in the house mom dad sister brother whoever see what they can find in that bag you might find the rock where this one over here found something else that you, a little piece of dirt you didn't drop in the bag. Like, so you don't have to actually go out and buy all the stuff. Um, we also, I did one with the uh, Ziploc, not the Ziploc bag, but the crayon bags that they have that you put your crayons and stuff inside. Y'all ain't using it no more. We can play with some of the crayons that's in there, hide stuff that way. I mean, we, we just been making do with different things. My daughter, she big into painting. So Sometimes you know she in the house, sometimes you don't. When she come out with one of her masterpieces, you know what she was doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's just, the, that's their way of staying engaged too. And I think thinking about that too, like at the, the individual level that then extends to the neighborhood or community level. So like starting in your household and then spreading to your neighbors and trying to reach other people. Uh, Sequoia, can you talk a little bit about um, what you're seeing as needs in the community and um, how people are creatively solving some of those issues? I think, honestly, it's the main thing of just keeping busy. A lot of it's the, the keeping busy and then it's the schoolwork that they've sent out. I've noticed that like some of these kids, they, they really don't care to learn on the computer like they need that old-fashioned learning they need the pencil and paper type of thing and so that's what another thing I was working with some kids about like hey 
let's do it this way. Like, even if we count the blocks that we have around the house to get to the answer to your math problem, or let's go back to getting actual books, not the things that they sending you home with on the computers. Let's read the old school way. I mean, I think that's a really important thing right now also that our parents is working, actually working alongside with the kids with a mm -hmm. lot of these different things that they are brought home with because everybody different. Some kids is catching on quick, some, hey. Yeah. So Do you we have to be creative as adults also. Yeah. Do you see um, any needs um, amongst like certain populations, like how you just talked about parents and then school? What about like some of the elderly population? Um, that may not have young kids or kids at home anymore. Yeah, and they have to start learning this technology and they not they haven't been brought up with this. So now you got to sit there and you have to try to figure out, well, how I'm gonna get on this. I wanna know about what's going on in the news. What they mean, I gotta get on the computer and find it out. Like, so that's a struggle there also. Like our seniors, our seniors give us so many things that we need as individuals, so we can't forget about them. We can't just turn our backs. And even if you know the people across the street or down the road, you know there's no kids down there or they don't have family. Sometimes you can send them a note. Do you need anything? Or I just wanted you to know I was thinking of you. Drop a newspaper off. You have a computer. You print out some of the things that you think they might be interested in and take it down or let them read it over. Yeah, that's those are all great ideas and just real ways to connect and show people that you really care about them and that you're thinking about them. So I think that that's good. And I think that that's a true testament to community and um, connectedness to like when you're thinking about being a person who does the work and wants to continue for me personally that that's where I've seen a lot of growth just in me trying to be creative calling people talking to neighbors talking to neighbors from other communities um and just trying to figure out where everybody is in their list of needs and how can we creatively um think through and connect. So I, th I think that's, I think is important when we recognize um, like specific groups and then mm -hmm. um, think about ideas that support, support their needs too. Yeah. About your growing minds uh, bags. Do you, do you have any nearby? You, I want to see the bags. I was getting I, excited. I don't, I didn't even bring okay. one with me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, but I do have, I, I have worked on it again today. So I do have some finished. I'm gonna have to shoot you a text. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cause I was like, I just think it's a good idea. And I love that you're personalizing it to your community and in the way that you know that the, those specific needs, I think that's another thing too, Sequoia, when I think about this topic around action, and how we move forward mm -hmm. or how we continue. I think that this has challenged us to also be real and be specific and not try to have a cookie cutter approach right. for every community. Like, no, really connecting with people, really taking time to find out what the needs are and then creating solutions, creative projects mm -hmm. and ideas that really fit that, that, that community. Yep, I've had, I had 30 people sign up for the bags. So this time around, so I'm working on the 30 of them. And then it took a little longer because, you know, I actually had to design the bag, put the bag together, get my donations. So, and now that I have it, I got everything together and I'm gonna put it all together. And I hope this weekend to be done, passing them out. And then we can see if it wanna be another round of those bags or not. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's usually how things work. You get it first and then you tell somebody about okay. it and then they tell somebody and then there you go. Now you need 90 bags. <laughs> yeah, 
I get it. I get it. Yeah. Another thing I wanted to touch on was partnerships. Um, I know that that you're partnered with different organizations in Akron, in your city, outside of just your side of town, but in your city. Um, what what has that part of the work been like? Is it just kind of touch and base? Have you been having Zoom calls there? Is everybody kind of just siloed for right now? What's happening on that in that realm? No, we've been conference call, Zoom call, WebEx, anybody, any meeting. I, I didn't even know it was this many platforms to come together and conversate still. I said, oh, they closed the city down. I don't have to go to a meeting this week. Nope, here you go. Here's a link. <laughs> Yeah. And what are you finding that some of the your part, the organizations that you partner with, what are uh, some of their focuses? Uh, how are how my, are they discussing? Um, how are you all collectively discussing, like just trying to continue the work? It, we're, it seemed like we're all on the same thing. We're trying to make sure that we're all staying safe. Everyone's staying healthy. We're trying to figure out what's next. What, what do we do? now okay we've been out a month so what is it going to look like may 1st when they decide to open back up are we going to jump right back in heels on the ground and just go back running are we going to take that time away like one of them we have a um, finance class that was going on we decided still to take that skip next month's finance class like one of the young ladies I talked to earlier today, she she looked at this as us going right back as like us taking our medicine. And then once we start feeling better, we just stop. Mm. So that's what she took. So instead of us jumping right back in, we're going to wait it out a little bit more. So we do have one of uh, one of the partners is doing a cleanup this weekend and they do. They still want you to partner. Um, you could bring your family, you could bring friends, whoever you want, but they still want to try the social distancing and we'll still try to clean up around the lake. So we'll see how that works out. Okay. Okay. Do you have um, any insight or any advice or um, I don't know, just nuggets that you would share with people like you, other community leaders. I know that um, some people may just check back into this video that may not be live right now. And, and everybody's just trying to figure out um, like how to stay involved, how to be active if you're not already, but what kind of, um, I don't know, just kind of little tidbits or insight would you, would you share? I say right now, and this is the time for us to be sitting here coming up with a game plan. Because we might have this struggle right now, but you never know what's to come down the road. So if we're thinking it out and we're making plans and we're putting these plans into actual progress, then we'll be prepared when we get down the line. You know, just like they say, this too shall pass. So we just need to think about the future and not just sit here and dwell in, oh, I don't got my mask. I don't got my gloves. I can't go outside but you got that pen and you have that piece of paper, get you a plan together, figure out what's going on. They're giving out the money. They're giving us money each month or, or they gave us the money right now, but you need to think about next month, what's going to happen. So take that money, invest it, save it, put it aside. You got to do better. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you on that. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Sequoia, um, do you, let me, let me check really fast. Let me flip over to Facebook to see if there's any questions because I don't want to miss anything. All right. See if we got anything over here. I think right now we don't have many questions and I think you touched on some of the comments that we, we do have. So that, that's great. This has been a good combo and just a touch base and, um, great time to connect with you do you have any final thoughts before we close out any words of encouragement or anything you on uh you just want to share i think we i think we touched base on about everything okay cool well i will um just keep us posted i mean we're in charlotte but i love what you have going on with the growing minds garden I love the idea of these bags. 
Um, and even how you're just staying connected with neighbors. I know we're doing the uh, letter to, to my neighbor. We're trying to get some letters going here. And so I know you guys are doing the same thing. And so um, it feels good to, to just connect with you and know that, you know, uh, that we have like minds uh, in, in another place, just carrying on and still pushing through and staying focused on the work. So um, I'm glad we connected. Thank you so much for being a guest on this chat and um, participating and sharing your gems on this topic of action during this time. You know, one more thing before we get off of here. We do have one more project that's coming up here soon. So if anyone's familiar with the towpath, uh, the inner belt park that we had at one point, we've changed the name to towpath landing. And so once we actually get that project done, we'll, we will need some community members to come out and, you know, help engage with that project once it's up and going. But we have to wait and see what all is going on with this pandemic we have going on right now. But we do have that coming up also. So keep your eyes out for the towpath landing project coming really soon. Okay. And what's going to, what, what is a towpath landing? Like a kind of like an outdoor community space? When it was the Interbelt Forest, we had, we had it down there set up that you could come and you can sit and it was set up like forest areas. Well, now we're taking those, taking a lot of those trees and things away. And then it'll just be a sitting space where you can come together. Um, and just basically the same thing, reflect on what that land was at one point. Uh, if you're out and you're hiking the trail, you can come, you can rest right there. I've noticed people down there coming and they work out right there in that little area. So they get their stretches and everything and jog up and down the trail. So it'll be another space where we can come together as one. I love that. And, and I like that it's a project that you're able to contribute to during, even during this time that, that um, even when this pandemic passes, like people are able to, to, to take part in and enjoy and appreciate. I, I love that, Sequoia. That's what I love about the work you're doing. It's place-based and um, it impacts people's just mental health and well-being. It's not just, uh, just the art and creativity part of it. It's, it's connected to deeper um, notions of wellness. So big ups. You keep it going, girl. <laughs> you see I'm representing for us. I, was, I, I see this. <laughs> I was like, man, my heart. You know, laundry is a little crazy around here. So I don't even know where, where, where to find that thing right now. But yeah. So keep it going. So Korea, I'm always here. Uh, if you need me, we in Charlotte, we love y'all in Akron. We keeping up with y'all. Um, and um, just thank you for all the work you're doing and, and just keep going keep going i love what you're doing for your neighborhood and your community and putting your city on it's big i appreciate right. you appreciate the league all right okay everybody uh who tuned in and, and joined us live uh we're wrapping up thank you for um spending time with myself and sequoria our project lead in akron uh, feel free to follow us on our uh, Facebook and our Instagram. Um, Akron and Charlotte League both have Facebook and Instagram pages. And uh, if you are not signed up for our newsletter, we're uh, trying to stay on top of, of keeping uh, what everybody's, all of our fellows and project leads, projects updated and keeping you all engaged and involved and um, when we're on the other side of this, uh, in addition to the work we're doing now, we're going to we're going to be ready to roll. So we hope that you'll join us and stay connected with us. All right, bye everyone, bye Sequoia. Bye for now.